Hi guys, today we'll explain to you how four main Moscow International Airports are working. And choosing your flight to Moscow, you probably wonder to which airport I'm going to arrive and how to get from there to the city center. That's what we'll discuss. Moscow has four international airports, names of which sound like a gibberish. Zhukovsky, Vnukovo, Domodedovo, Sheremetyevo, memorized? Make sure you did. Next time I'll check. Majority of the flights, around 60 to 90 every hour, are arriving to the Sheremetyevo airport. Let's call it better as we were for simplicity. It is the largest airport in Russia and by 2018 rating it's the best European airport among those that have a capacity of more than 40 million passengers a year. The airport has six passenger terminals and three runways which makes it 11th busiest airport in the whole of Europe. It's also the second oldest airport in Moscow that still operates until nowadays. At first it was built to rival London's Heathrow Airport, though still not reaching it by passenger capacity. For those of you flying Sky Team Alliance, Aeroflot, Korean Air, Air France, KLM and others, it will be the airport of arrival. If you prefer One World Alliance, which is American Airlines, British Airways, Finnair, S7 and others, then most likely you will arrive to the Dimi airport. Dimi, full name of which is Damadedo, is the 12th busiest airport in Europe with its two runways. It was first to be constructed in the city, originally doing flights only to the Central Asia, Siberia and Far East. But the things have changed after the collapse of the Union in 1991 and now the airport operates flights to the multiple domestic and international destinations. If you arrive from Turkey, Bulgaria, Hong Kong, Tunis, etc., you're most probably to land in Vnukova airport, the oldest airport still operating as international in Moscow. That's since 1945. Except for the main national airlines of the above-mentioned countries, Vnukova also operates as the main hub for multiple low coasters. Also, it serves as the main airport for presidential aviation, operating flights not only for Russian heads of state, but also for foreign. The first foreign president using it being Barack Obama in 2009. Here also, on May 9th of 1945, landed a plane with a German instrument of surrender, marking with this document the end of the World War II in Europe. To the same airport in April of 1962, from Baikonur, the first man in space arrived, Yuri Gagarin. The airport is much smaller than other Moscow airports, with just 26 million passengers arriving every year. While if you arrive from Tajikistan, Belarus or Kyrgyzstan, you will be probably landing in Zhukovsky. The airport is named after 19th century Russian scientist Zhukovsky, who was the head of the first European Institute of Aerodynamics and the person who first calculated the wing lift force without knowing which you couldn't build an airplane and fly it to Moscow. In this airport there is also the grandiose aviation show called MAX happening every two years and showing the best of Russian and foreign aircrafts. To get to the city center from the first three airports, SVO, DME and Vico, you may use Iro Express trains departing every 30-60 minutes. Or for those of you first time in Moscow, we can recommend using Yandex Taxi, which is a Russian version of Uber. You can use their app, their website or a booth, which is present in almost every one of those airports and they have staff speaking English there. If you wish to be met by someone with a placard at the airport, we can recommend you Wheelie service. They also have the app and the website. They are a Russian company providing transfers in Moscow, St. Petersburg, Paris and London and they also speak English. You can have a layover tour in Moscow if you are in the city just for a couple of hours and it's operated by us and can be booked through this link. In the airports you can also get SIM cards from multiple mobile operators. We use Swedish Russian Tele2. And beware! Don't use official taxi services. There is no such a thing in Moscow airports. People with such kind of badges are usually scammers asking for 200 or 500 dollars for a 20 kilometer ride, with the fair price being just 30 or 40 bucks. Okay, so now you know everything about the four Moscow main airports. And we will see you in our next videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And of course, in Moscow when this coronavirus thing ends. Stay safe, stay home. Damage goods, damage should have never been Thought you were bulletproof, look at you What happened? Did she hurt you?